uh, for our meeting. And the first individual is Mr. Bruce Patterson. Okay, Mr. Patterson, do you have any questions or comments on this ordinance? Uh, good evening. Uh, hopefully you can hear me, but uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Freeholder Board. This is Bruce Patterson Garwood in reference to the uh, 821-2020 ordinance. Uh, if you just could explain to the public the specifics of what is being amended on Chapter 1, Article 14, Chapter 2, Article 5, and Chapter 49, Article 5, which is referenced in that ordinance. Thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Patterson, thank you. I'll turn it over to either the county manager or the county council to go through that. I, I can uh, take those, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, go ahead, Bruce. This is our annual uh, codification of changes to, to the laws of Union County. We're doing three things as requested by several departments. The first is to establish an office of analytics, research and evaluation in the Department of Human Services. This is uh, really going to use existing uh, resources and staff, but it's gonna put them all together to take care of looking at different uh, statistics to make sure that what the county is doing uh, is the most uh, uh, efficient way to, to deliver services. So that's that department. We also have a request from uh, the uh, uh, fiscal uh, provisions. This is to codify what's called advance payment for travel. These are rules that are in effect per state law, and we're just putting them into our code so that uh, they're set forth specifically to make sure that we comply with state law. The, the third change in existing code is to increase some of the tipping fees at our compost facility, specifically <clears throat> Uncompacted leaves will go from two to four dollars a cubic yard, and compacted leaves will go from four to six dollars uh, per cubic yard. This uh, uh, facility is only used by the municipalities. It's a shared service offered by the county to the municipalities. Uh, the cost to the municipalities far, even with this increase, is far less than what it would cost them uh, at, on the open market. And, and the idea is just to keep up the money coming in to run the facility. So those are those three changes. I would note there are two systemic, if you will, changes that are being put into place. One is uh, to effectuate the new state law, changing the title from Board of Chosen Freeholders to Board of County Commissioners. So in any place within the, the laws that it says freeholders, that will be changed. And the other is just to remove any gender specific pronouns uh, and to change over to all uh, uh, gender uh, non-specific. So, so that will, again, through the entire code, that change will be made by uh, uh, passing this ordinance. And I think that covers everything. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good, thank you, Bruce, all good changes. Uh, let's go on to the next uh, caller, Jim. Uh, certainly, Chairman. Uh, the next individual is Mr. Daniel Hahn. No comments at this time. Thank you. No comments. Thank you, Mr. Hahn. Jimmy, go to the next. Uh, I have someone in the queue by the name of Dawn Donahue. Okay, Ms. Donahue, if you have any questions or comments. Don Donahue appears to be using an older version of Zoom, so I would have to temporarily remove uh, move them as a panelist just for a minute to see if there's any comments to make. Okay, 